So this is a Ellis Page, and she's about six weeks old. She was about seven pounds at birth, and we've had her for six weeks. Uh, I'm Brad, this is Kelly. At the age of 16, I found out that I was not going to be able to naturally have a child. Um, and so that was kind of a hard blow for me at such an early age. But I just looked at it as the Lord was going to have a different path for me in my life. I never thought that, oh, well, I'm not ever going to be able to have a child because I knew that at some point that I was going to an to adopt a child. And then later down the line, I met Brad, my husband, hmm. and um, <clears throat> just kind of in those few conversations that we had at the get-go, um, I just kind of told him straight out that, look, you know, this is me, this is who I am, and, you know, I eventually want to have children, and I feel that I, you know, I'm going to want to adopt at some point. He was so awesome with it, and he knew that um, he, well, he knew that he wanted to adopt as well, or that he was okay with not biologically having a child, and that was okay with him. So we, uh, I knew it was going to happen before Kelly and I got married, and uh, I knew we needed to raise some money, so we took a bit of a risk and, uh, and bought a house, and it put some stress on us, and it was a 1940s brick bungalow that needed lots and lots and lots of renovation so i did that for four years um kelly we got married about halfway through there after brad worked on the house for four years he totally renovated the entire thing <clears throat> right about the time that it was time to put the house up on the market the bottom fell out of the market and so finally when it was time brad was just like okay you know what let's just go ahead and start filling out the paperwork for the adoption. So in January we just went to an informational meeting and kind of decided to announce to the world, um, hey we're gonna adopt. And as we went to that informational meeting and said you know to the world that hey we've decided to adopt, our house went under contract. And um, not just under contract but it's like multiple offers came in fair offers, aggressive offers, it's just it's like, you know, what triggered it? Couldn't explain it, so it's pretty neat. Up front, they kind of told us it's going to be about nine months, um, and ours actually turned out to be nine months on the dot. Um, that's kind of average from start to, to actually getting placement of a baby. Um, but you, you, you meet with a counselor, you, they kind of give you a step-by-step -step process. Um, you go listen to some, some speakers, which we thought was very beneficial. You listen to uh, previous birth mothers, previous adoptive parents, previous adoptive children. And each one you kind of get a, a different perspective that you never really thought about to see it through their eyes and eventually out of the blue you get an email or a phone call that says you've been selected. You don't really know why. Um, you may never know why whether she liked your house, your no hair, uh, whatever. You just, you just, you just at that point you're just grateful it happens and um, then you go down the process to learn about the birth mother. Um, you may meet with her, you may not, depending upon their, their wishes. You may know a great deal about her. Um, we met with ours. She was a wide open book. Um, we loved her instantaneously. Uh, we were very blessed. She was mature and thinking of us. And the end result is this. And uh, it was absolutely, absolutely, absolutely fulfilling and worth it. And I think. It's made us stronger, our marriage stronger, uh, as a family stronger. It's, it's, as Kelly said it once, I think it made me, what, a macho to mush? Is that what it is? So it's, it's pretty neat.